Uh, today is May 8, 2015, and I'm doing a sacred healing space uh, hangout. It just um, was knocking on my on all of my doors recently. Um, I kind of a normal, obvious thing, but um, it first came few days ago in in the teaching of someone in a Reiki share group and it sounded very very right you have to create this healing space and then uh, before I started the hangout it was just knocking on all possible pages when I checked the mail I saw this space healing space sacred space sacred space sacred space so and it was you know from independent sources they just knocked on all doors um, I wasn't planning the hangout, but I was coming up the stairs, and I was rushing to a, 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 an appointment, hurrying to the appointment, and then I felt the energy coming, and it was, you know, very recognizable outside energy. Somebody coming through the head. Um, it feels like. Let me describe it. I feel like little numbness and little pressure, like somebody just pulls the head just down, like gently and kindly, just but pew, the gravity is stronger, like it became heavier, like just a little bit heavier, just enough to feel that there is something there, just physical feeling. So, you know, in the past I might have felt it many times, but this time I said, oh, hello, who, how are you, who, who are there? And there was no answer. I said, okay, I know I'm, I'm late, usually the... If they come, they usually say, you know, hurry up. So I was still hurrying up, uh, rushing up, and did, you know, prepared for the for the meeting, for the appointment, and then <clears throat> and then um, I checked the mail, and the appointment was canceled. Okay, so I went to my meditation, and it was pretty profound. But then I realized they just they knew it, the appointment was canceled, and the moment it was canceled, they said, "Oh, now we can do a head out." So, <laughs> so that's how I interpret their message. I still don't know if it's true or not. How very synchronistic, Max. <laughs> that is so synchronistic, simply because it's been on my mind for the last week to do a healing hangout. Uh huh. Uh huh. So maybe it's not going to on all of our doors. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Yes, so just because Bashar said that they're, they're not doing any more healing advice, I was very disappointed about that. Maybe they already changed their policy, but at that moment they stopped doing that. So I don't invite the Chakani, but no, I will invite Roha. And um, because, I don't know, maybe Chakani don't don't do the healing advice in, at the no, moment. I don't know. I, I had the feeling that it was just uh, the, through Bashar um, huh. because of the, the, the questions people are asking to do this or that. But I believe they were still helping healing the Shikani. Ah. Yeah, I I don't know how to, how to interpret that. It would be nice to ask Bashar or someone. Yeah, let's ask. That's a great question for any people who know, any higher beings who know, why did they stop that? That might have been just simple legal matter for Daddy Lanka. Yeah. Because he's so popular and, you know, that Bashar gives an advice, but he gives an advice to a specific person and then, you know, in thousands of people who watch it, maybe someone is not, use it, would use it appropriately, something of that sort. Well, I think because of the counseling that Bashar uh, gives, uh, mm -hmm. it would be, it's, it's not to his excitement to just continuously heal people as they come up for the questions. And so it may be a situation where there are others who would provide that service outside mm -hmm. of Bashar. You see? Yep, that's a possibility, I agree. Mm hmm. Any more invitations before we start? 
I do want to say one thing. Uh, this morning I was feeling really strange when I woke up, just not myself. So I grounded myself immediately. And then I looked on YouTube and was looking more into Sage. But then I found a audio file and played just some tones. And it just cleaned up my whole morning just instantly, my whole room, my whole house. So uh, I do want to share that with y'all. I think it's pretty great that we brought this up today. Nice. Thank you. All right, then I will start. Uh, my intention is to go slow and take break, uh, take pauses and not hurry. Hmm. Oh, I need to, before I go, remind me next time, I need to give controls to you just in case. So I'm giving you controls so you can mute people if there is if there are noises coming. Perfect. All right, now I'm ready. Hmm. All right. Hello, Rohair. That's what we are going to do. I will just say hi and then bring the microphone to Vano. Hello, and he will do the the the, the main part. I send you blessings and. It is nice to have you join the gathering. And I wish that gathering to be a sacred space, sacred healing space, a model which you can take with you and then use for your healing and healing of others. Right, I'll bring Mano. Hello, hey, everybody. Hello, hey, Brian. Hello, hello. 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 Dan. Monica, Zaira, Matt, Curly. Hi. Yes, I'm allowed to do advice on healing. I'm one of Chakani. You can also call me one o or just ten one zero. Welcome, Bono. Yes, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to you too. So, let's speculate. I will do a little introduction. Let's speculate. Let's talk a little bit about the sacred hidden space. You are a vibration. So you don't need space, you don't need time. You are the vibration, you are the vibe, you are the idea which exists beyond space, beyond time. And you come here to this life into a synthetic matrix matrix to experience and to forget and to remember space and time and learn the lessons pertinent to space and time. 
which by design include health and disease as two poles of duality. So take it natural and take it as a choice. You are at the stage where your choice is respected. So usually, sometimes, often, that this is comes as a choice, a subconscious choice, because it serves a certain purpose. So you might bring it to yourself as subconscious choice. And as it came as a choice, you are free to choose to let it go. That's simple. Now, why do you need space? Why do you need a sacred space? Again, it is just a tool, just a permission slip, as we say. The time is now, as we say. But you are looking often, you are often looking from a 3D perspective. And from 3D perspective, it's, it's different, it's radically different. So it really depends where from are you looking. If you are looking from one perspective, mm, there is space, I can feel my physical body. And I can hear clock ticking, the time is absolutely real, absolutely real. And then you shift to our perspective and you see the time in its entirety as a synthetic construct helping you to experience things in linear order. And all the time is now. So some people take it as a tool, some light workers tell, take it as a tool for slacking. They say, time is now, I follow my highest excitement, therefore I will slack. Ah, time is now, so I can be late. Time is now, and I follow my highest excitement, so I quit a job. I don't do work and I feel depressed and time is now. It's not our message, it's some interpretation of some of you of our message. Our message was you are the creator. In each moment of time you create the next moment of time. This is the main message. You create the next moment of time through your vibration. The next, every time there is a splitting fork. So you create a path on a splitting fork, one of another branch, by your choices and by your vibration and by feeling, by determining, by following your high excitement, by choosing a state of mind. So your state of mind defines your chances, defines what will be chosen in the next moment. That is the main message. Right? And we say, be passionate. Make this choice and follow your passion. Follow. And if your passion involves a job or abundance or socializing with people or connecting to other people, then time from 3D perspective is essential. You have to make these appointments and you have to come in time for these appointments. We say we live by synchronicity and we offer this choice to you. You can also follow our example, but you also can follow your plan 
and your calendar and your scheduling and your timing, it is a valuable tool in 3D reality. And when you are smart, when you are, what's a better word, when you mastered the concept of time, you can play with it and allow certain synchronicities to come in and invite them while you still are on schedule. And the same thing belongs to the space. Same idea, space time, same idea. You can play with space. Here is what a nasty joke. Here is what ah let me say your molecular biologist, experimental biologist, animal biologist say the rats take it in a context. The rats are so sturdy. You can grind it in a blender. It will reassemble itself and climb out. It will find a way. So you see, the joke is relevant to the specific circumstance, but it reminds you in a very materialistic way that blending is not very good for life, does it? Maybe you need that body. Maybe you need to have your space and not to blend completely. So there are two ways, two major ways of integration. One is by blending, mashing up, and unstructured mix, like liquid to liquid, or even more like gas to gas, when you just allow everything to come through you, and you don't respect your border and expand in a gaseous fashion everywhere. So you are everywhere. So that has a disadvantage because negative energies, negative choices of other people, of social groups, their negative passions, the low vibration, you absorb everything because you allow everything in yourself. You suck their light and the dark as a sponge. If you would go through the blending, diffused way of integration. But there is another way of integration which is structural. Mm. What example should I give? Mm. Structural. Sushi is a structural integration, right? You rub seaweed and carefully layered rice and carefully layered veggies and a piece of something else, a raw fish, and structure it and put intention into that structure. And in sushi, there is much more structure than in the ingredients. There is much more intention. It costs so much because there is more intention than nutrients. If you just blend the sushi, you will get a goo which doesn't taste anywhere close. So blending and structured integration are two options for you. And the idea of sacred space is the one of structure. Your vibration, when mixed with all other vibrations, suffers. It picks up all other vibrations, and instead of music, you hear noise, white noise, or just mm, a mess, noise, air. A cows. If you structure things, separate, put musicians separate, just the groups which resonate with it themselves, put them together and separate them, give them quiet audience. 
then the miracle happens and the music happens. The music cannot happen when all hundreds of people play together in one space. It has to be separated by walls. Same with reality. 3D reality, 4D reality, 5D reality. They are separated by not even one, by multiple veils to allowing them to function properly. So that's kind of obvious when you think of that. It's kind of obvious. Your vibration is thriving in human colony community because it is a sacred space. It is protected by you, by your intention, but also by us. Very rarely we allow negativity to enter it and we watch it closely. We allow it because it needs to grow so it has to develop its own ways to protect itself. But it is sacred and it is governed, it's guarded by higher forces. Yes. And the same thing relates to health. You wish to help your body to remain in the flow, but a lot, filter out good energies and bad energies. The energies which resonate with you and the energies which you don't. So let the others pass through without even touching you. And let good, good energies flow through you. Now what do you do to create the sacred space? There are many tools and we could discuss them. Let me summarize. <sighs> the sacred space is just a tool, but it is a very handy tool. And its strength is in understanding that for purity of vibration, for purity of your fire, for purity of your intentions, it really helps to establish certain barriers, certain separation, and certain space, and keep an eye on this space. It can be very closed, it can be very open, it can be dynamically open and closed, but keeping an eye on what you let in allows you to better serve and better follow your highest excitement. And the end point is it allows you to serve others, serve yourself, express yourself, express your inner core vibration in the most creative way to obtain the most valuable, most complex, most highest level experience. It really allows you to experience highest level experience. And finally, it helps your personal ascension, your collective ascension, and your global ascension. And I invite the discussion. Thank you for being part of this monologue because you listened and that mattered. Hello. Hello, Tim. Uh, this is Curly. I wanted to know I have an issue with uh, my right hip. Can you scan it and tell me what's happening? Because it hurts very much. Or do you have something oh, to say about it? Oh, it hurts very much. Yeah. Uh, tell me more. Uh, what 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 is hurting, and when did it start? Oh, it starts maybe four or five years ago. <laughs> and where? Time. On my right right what? hips. Right hip. Yeah. 
Where in the right hip? Uh, in the back. I don't know if... Uh, can you tell me something about that? In the that, bone or? or in the muscle or in the tendon or in the skin uh, or in the fat? I have no clue <laughs> in the muscles. I Do you have this pain now? Sorry? Near the spine, yeah. Do you have this pain now? Um, not now, but uh, most of the time. Can you touch it and feel where it, where it is? Yeah. If you press, do you feel it? Yes. Yes, I, I do it, yeah. I press. Where is it? In the muscle, in the bone? The muscle in is, the, you know... It's near the spine, in the, on the bottom of the back, you know, uh -huh. on the right side. Yeah. I think it's inside, uh -huh. yeah, the muscle. The joint. When you walk, does it hurt when you walk or when you yes. are... Mm -hmm. Yes, when I walk, yeah. Does it hurt more when you walk? Yes. Ah, yes. Hmm. Have you gone to chiropractors? Yes, and uh, they found nothing. <laughs> What do you mean, nothing? They found nothing uh, on the scanner, radio. They found nothing, nothing. Was it a chiropractor? It was a radiologist. Oh, I was talking a about physician? chiropractor. No. Oh no, 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 chiropractor. C H I R O P A R. No. And so. Not yet. No. Because I was surprised when you said the chiropractor didn't find anything because yeah. chiropractors always find something that's okay. their talent. They always find something and okay. they find something in the way that it's fixed and then you come back to them again and it's fixed again and bring you okay. again and again. That's how their okay. business works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to try that. So, okay. Um, Look for a good chiropractor yeah. uh, with good recommendations online or just ask people, ask someone who already goes to chiropractor, what do they think and so on. Okay. Yeah, chiropractors okay. are, and they're covered by medical insurance. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, just in general, it's... It looks like a joint arthritis, and the chiropractor would be the first stop. It doesn't mean that there is no other spiritual, aesthetic cause. Usually, they come together. But yeah. the fastest way to start fixing it is through a chiropractor, because they will explain to you in, in much detail what is actually happening from their perspective, which is perspective of how your joints and bones and spine are twisted a little bit out of okay. perfect alignment. That's their perspective. Okay. And they're very expensive and covered by insurance. Okay. And some of them, many of them, unlike medical doctors, many of them are very much educated in natural naturopathic energy healing modalities reiki light therapy sound therapy tens therapy t e n s tens therapy and homeopathy herbal therapy all of that is relevant have you done reiki okay. Um, Have you no. gone to Reiki Master? No, I try Reiki one. Is often even less expensive. And okay. that will look into your energy body and blockages in chakra, chakras and energy okay. flow through chakras. That is okay. another perspective. Okay. Next Tribal. would be thigh massage. It is mm -hmm. often more expensive, but if you go to a alternative health fair, alternative health fair, you can get thigh massage from <laughs> a good massage therapist for 15 bucks. Okay. It is highly recommended, except first 
look into them, see how they treat other people, and see if it feels good to you. It has to be a talented one and a kind one. A kind, gentle, not angry. Yes. Okay. And thigh massage looks at the same problem from a third perspective, which is a black energy, dark energy stuck in muscle. They clear that dark energy stuck in muscle. It's called massage because they move muscles and other soft tissues, but they think of energies. They are awakened to the idea of energies. Okay. Because I thought and maybe finally it was... you might think about karmic cause of the pain. Where does it lead you? When did this start? What event precipitated in that pain? There is always a pain in soul, in emotion. It's always an emotional pain that comes and precipitates as arthritic pain. So remember, meditate on it, remember what was the cause of the emotional pain which precipitated the physical one. And what did this pain make you do? What did it make you do? What changed after you got this pain? Where did it bring you? If you follow it right, if you decode it right, if you solve this puzzle, you might find the goal. Oh, I was led there. Yeah. Okay. To gym. And okay. maybe a couple more steps needed to get it right, which I sense could be to really actually, actually, actually follow your highest excitement. When proper things are in place and the energy flows actually follow your highest excitement, really doing that in a smart way, in practical way, then a chiropractor does that. Click, tick, 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 tick. and it goes away and never comes back. Or maybe comes back, ah, I know you. Click again, done. You see, yeah. all these are permission slips, but karmic is primary. Karmic, they're one related to your fate and your main life lesson, main life, highest excitement, passion, path. It relates to path, yes. Mm. OK. Because I thought maybe it was an implant or something. I was wondering. Oh, of course, it could be pl implant. And, but when you find the primary cause, the karmic cause, mm. if you fix the karmic problem, you correct your path. I was saying, oh, I got it. I want it. I, I should go. I should went to through this door, and the door is open. It's right in front of me. Why didn't I step through? Mm -hmm. When you step through this door, then even if it wasn't implanted. Uh, you say, hey, your implant is means functioning, and they say, of course, we will turn it off. And it's mm. again, it's gone. But, you know, these are all different angles, and when you look from different angle, the treatment and the resolution can be a little different, but the karmic cause usually goes first. Okay. So Let's try. look for the karmic, the path. The idea of path, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss so many interesting concepts with you. And actually, I hope that will much. help you. And soon you'll say, ah, yes, I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, we always, <laughs> pro oh, we always promote the idea of mental, logical, analytical, mm. experiential, Mm, yes, approach, but of course there is emotional there. So clearing emotions, fixing emotions, structuring emotions is uh, another big component. Pay attention to that too, because pain is unresolved emotions 
just archived in an in a joint in an organ. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? I'm here. Hey, how are you? This is Dimitri. Ah, Dimitri, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm good, thanks. So, uh, I have a pain in my gallbladder too. Um, since maybe seven, eight years now. And I know it's a negative belief somewhere that I have, but I cannot find it. I cannot pinpoint what it is, so it's very hard for me to work on it. I work on some other negative bodies, but this one, it's like very deep, and it's like you just stay inside me, it doesn't want to get out. So I don't know how to try to go deep and find the negative belief to, to work on it. So I don't know if you have a tip or something when to how to find the negative beliefs and try to work on it and just deal with that. Uh, okay, I at this case I cannot speculate on any specifics, but we can discuss your karmic highest excitement questions if you wish. What's your highest excitement? Uh, right now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost in my mind what I want to do. Uh, so ah. how it, yeah. That is a nice state to be. How long are you being lost? A long time, I guess, maybe like 10 years, maybe more. <laughs> ah. Wow. What do you remember of your last highest excitement? What was your most creative approach? So what I remember is when I was uh, maybe the last time was maybe 17, maybe since I'm born to 17, I was playing soccer and I love it. So I have a joy with that and ah. I play a higher level in soccer and after I just realized that, wow, that's not fun anymore. But I realized that 10 years after. So and since that, ah. I don't know what to do and I'm like lost. What I like, I don't know because my passion was soccer at this time, but now I don't know. So, what do you feel about the light worker community? Oh, I love it, and that's been oh. since I'm like ten. I'm, I was thinking something was wrong in the world, and since I'm sixteen or seventeen, since I got to internet, I was looking for I think the wrong stuff because I was looking for the Illuminati or all the Freemason stuff. And two, three years ago, oh. I was realizing that. Uh, it always turn around, it's like a circle and come back always negativity and two, three years ago I just realized let's try something positive and at this time I found Bashar so I follow Bashar for two, three years and now I'm here so and I love, ah. I love to be here. Ah, so there is something positive in your life. Oh, nice. Yes. So I want to, to mm -hmm. be more involved in the community like Ukulo or spirituality. I know that we are going to evolve and, and get a better earth and be better somewhere else. <laughs> ah. All right. What is your connections? What are your connections with local people? Are they positive or negative? Do you have a social circle? I just moved here five months ago, so not much. But usually, when I'm going to play soccer with friends uh, sometimes, but I I, uh, I just stop soccer because of 
pain of the knee and uh, it's too painful in, uh, now, so I just stopped. But otherwise, yeah, I made like 30 people in soccer. Usually it's always friendly and they always have fun on the, on the soccer uh -huh. field. But, <coughs> but usually it's fine with people, yeah. Have you considered teaching children play soccer, being a trainer? Yeah, but Coach. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, I just want to stop soccer because it's not my passion anymore. So I just want like more doing uh, like Reiki healing. So I try to find groups with Reiki. So I found yes. one and I found one and I have like a meeting on Monday, this Monday or the next Monday. I don't know. So I'm trying to change my way to go more on a healing path and find people who's doing Reiki. Would you be interested in doing massage? I'm a massage therapist too. Say again? I am a massage therapist. Oh, you are a massage therapist? Yes. And it doesn't excite you? Uh, yeah, in a way, but I think I have too much expectation with the client. So, uh -huh. I have, yeah, I think that's my problem. <clears throat> so, I have to lower my expectation or not having expectation at all and just let it be like how it is. So, you are a healer and it doesn't excite you. Hmm. It's not that, yeah. it's just the, the people how they behave, in fact. You know, they tell you, like, they are coming back, but they don't come back. They tell you that uh, they love it, but you don't see them again. Um, so, somewhere it's like you feel that you're not very good because they say, that, oh, you're good, it's just to please you at this moment. But in fact, uh -huh. behind that, what are you? What I'm thinking is like I was not very good. On, in fact, I mean, they just say that to please me at this time. So maybe because I have too much expectation from the client. I don't know. I see. I see. You. I think I, you are outlining your main main challenge for today. Yes. Yes. Mm. I invite, uh, would you mind if the other members of the hangout give you advice? What would you feel about that? No, I'm completely fine. I trust them. You know, if we are here right now, it's because there's a reason. And I think all these people here, it's because to help each other and they know it goes so yeah I'm fine with that wonderful I invite uh, others to give advice to Dimitri Okay, Brian, you are silent because you cannot speak at the moment, right? Sarah, you are silent because you are busy with everything else, right? Monica, you're here? I'm here, yes. Ah. Yes, um, I think what, from listening to him, um, it, it just sounds like he needs to find his heart's desire. You know, he needs um, to feel better because I, I feel his pain. And with the knee and the gallbladder. And so if he has more healing and then he can expand on his heart's desire. You know, what pleases him the most. Like being part of our group is awesome and uplifting and caring and just to help you get over your hurdles. So just 
just to hear that you are being heard is is really important, I think. Yeah, that's nice. You know, that Anyone you else? feel the pain. Thank you. Thank you, that helps too. Yes. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, anybody else I was a little busy, but um, I've heard okay. some of it. And okay. um, thank you. The part about you having expectations or ideas of of what the customer feels, even though they tell you one thing, you feel like it's another, just for placating purposes. I would say look into that because that is a belief within yourself. It has nothing to do with the other person. If they truly appreciated your work enough to say so, why do you wish not to believe them? Yeah, I, I don't know I, how to handle that right now. It's just like it's coming back to me and it's like it's going and it's coming back. I see. So you're giving energy with your massage therapy, but you somehow refuse to accept energy and love. Yes, I think it's that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You see, when there is a giving and no receiving, it causes a block. It causes a block in energy flow. Energies move from one being into another and then it flows back. That is the nature of energy. When you put up a block, within the flow of energy, it causes other blockages within the body. You understand? Yeah, I'm crying right now. <laughs> when you are able to accept their thankfulness and their love, or energy you have given, the blockage will become free and energy will be able to flow freely. Within you as well. I think I understand why. It's, I think because my mom never said I love you to me, so you are unwilling to accept love from others because you did not receive it from the one person who means the most to you. Yeah, but that's, that's very hard for me to accept that, you know. Yes, but that awareness just came to you. Yes, you're right. And therefore, you have accepted it in this moment. Yeah. That is so good. There's that's definitely healing. Uh, you are open to it right at this very moment. That is very good. You're cleansing, cleansing your soul. I know. I did that with a lot of stuff since the past five months. <laughs> I know the feeling. Just releasing all the time. Yes. I release a lot of guilt, shame, and a bunch of stuff like that. But I know I still have some stuff out me because my girl but it's painful so but I have a hard time sometimes to find out what is wrong. So. Nothing is wrong. No. Yeah, I know. It's just to tell me what something is not myself. Yeah, you are. Yes. I know but You are you were not accepting your true self. Yes. And your true self is love. I know that, but sometimes it's very hiding, you know, behind you, and 
it's like you have to scratch a lot, a lot of stuff before seeing it and be able to work on that. Yeah. And I was, and I was, I'm, I was stuck with that since a long time. And I hope it's just that. Maybe there is some more, but I don't know. But that's feel very good to realize that too. If there is any more, it will make itself aware to you in other ways. Yeah. And I, I do think if we, you know, love and accept ourselves, and then we can truly help others to get to that point as well. We can help heal them because they feel all that good, loving, healing energy. Yeah. I know because Positive what I felt like today, right now, it's like I never felt it with my mom, you know, I wanted that so bad with my mom, and I couldn't have it, but just start talking to me, I can't feel it. And... So you never had a bond with your mother? What does it mean? I don't know what does it mean a bond. We never had a relationship, really. <coughs> well, we are here for you. Yeah, I see that. I know yes, that. We are here. Very nice. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I know the group has helped me. Um, experience my path and you know helps me with some negative energies and feelings and it's just you know one day at a time yeah I know it takes time so that's it and connect you know just connect to things that you really love and crystals or the earth you know mother Gaia you know the trees just to sit under a beautiful tree well, to I do that to sometimes. the birds, it's just so healing. I do that sometimes. Or dip your feet into the water, or find a beautiful waterfall, or. Yeah, I do that. Sometimes I do that. I put my feet in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. good thing too. <laughs> it is. Or t to be playful. I I think playful. I've heard that so many times. Yeah. Um. From other group members and from alien friends, um, to be playful. We we've really forgotten that yeah, part of I, us. I agree with you because Dude. when I was little and playing soccer, I have fun. But now soccer it's more like competition and it's not fun anymore for me. So yeah. that's from that I want to stop soccer because it's not fun. And that's taking away from your happiness. Yes, exactly. So I want to find. You know, we're something. so focused on one thing. It's always just one thing: money or, you know, yeah. all that other stuff. And we need to to look inward to find that that faith, that strength, that love, and to know that you're loved. It took it took me a while, and it's like. You know, every day I have to say, I'm loved. I mean, I have my alien friends. I have, you know, friends and family members. They, and they are far away. And that's yes. kind of why I struggle. Yeah. They are far. It's like the, the stuff I didn't understand is I'm loved because my mom didn't give me love. So for me, it's hard to accept love from someone else if you cannot accept from your mom. So how can you accept it from someone else? Yeah. So I know it's possible, but very hard. I love my wife, but it's hard for me to accept that. Yeah. <laughs> it will get better. It will get better. Just let it go. That's so. That's good healing. Good release. All the good energies, all you know, alien friends are just so lovely and spiritual and helpful, and they are with you at every moment. 
that you ask, and our angels are there that you ask. And they yeah. give you unconditional love. That unconditional love. Sometimes I would like a sign for, from them that they're existing because I feel alone sometimes. Even if I know that I'm not alone, but you know, just something that I don't know, I cannot catch the sign maybe. <laughs> Rojo here. I wasn't in attention, but I came here to share our love for you. I understand you are not in analytical mode at the moment. You are in emotional release mode. Yeah. One of key words now for you might be forgiveness. Forgive yourself, love yourself, forgive everybody who hurt you. You had painful past and forgive all the pains. You can become a different, happier you. You can become a happier you. Don't drop the lesson. Keep this lesson. Close it up. Make this pain solid and make it a stepping so stone. Help it to build your structure. Make it part of your structure so you have protection from now on. That pain cannot come to you again because you already experienced it. That pain is not painful anymore. It is an experience which is part of your structure and you become more solid and you become solid and strong, more solid and more strong. As a wave, you can become stronger by improving your purity, your amplitude. You are stronger, and the structure helps it, helps you, and helps the wave to build a sacred space where you are loved. Yes, yes, and then work on your success in the areas which are dear to you. In your job, when you are healed, when you are happy, people come to you again. Yeah. Expand your healing modalities, healing ways. If you learn Reiki, Thai massage, Qigong, energy healing, spiritual healing. You have these pains and as you go, as a patient, you learn these modalities and and then you become a practitioner of those modalities because you experience that as a patient. Your pain serves the purpose to bring you to the healers, connect to the healers. You get healed and now you heal the pain are gone and they are gone by your choice. It's at your choice. You are in crossroads. You have to, you can choose if you wish to. You can choose to be whole again, pure again, happy again, but it takes a leap of faith that it is possible. Yeah. And don't forget about marketing and partnerships. In whatever you do, your physical, local activities. Find good partners, good friends who are good in marketing because to bring new customers and to retain them is called marketing and you have to be a professional in that. There is no other way to succeed in that business. Okay, there are other ways but it is one of the mm, the easier paths of less least resistance to be a professional, not only in your healing art, but also in, yes, sacred marketing art. Yes, it is part of your 3D reality, which you came here to learn. Learn it and transform it in spiritual networking. Yeah, 3D marketing into spiritual networking. When people come to you who resonate with you, where you can really change their lives and uplift them, help them ascend, heal them, when 
there is no other place where they can be healed other than your uh, your practice. Then they will come to you for sure. But first, as you know, doctor, heal yourself first. Healer, heal yourself first. Okay. Yes. Healer, heal yourself first. Love yourself first. I and it's it. only choice, and it is not, it doesn't have to be easy. It is hard work to make a leap of faith and from the darkest, deepest night to step into the morning and create this light. Find it within yourself. Forgive others and find that light. It's still there. Find it and grow is if you would grow a plant or help it grow if, as you would help grow a baby. Grow this light. Protect it. Create a sacred, loving space for that light. And purify, purify, forgive, forgive, forgive. Yes. 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 Mm. Heal yourself. Do rake on yourself. Yes. I do sometimes. And this pain in your areas, it could be from relationships. There is a etheric core binding you. And if relationships are unhealthy, it can connect to different organs. And it often does. And it brings pain and it brings sickness. Forgiven, I love you anyway. Forgiven and letting it go, making it healthy again through letting it go and forgiven is one of the ways to heal the pain. Forgiven and letting it go, yes. Restructuring these cords, etheric cords. When you understand how it works, it's much easier to restructure. When you don't know what it is, it's harder. But when you understand it is a relationship that hurts you. Or several relationships. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. And much love to you. Much compassion. Much empathy. We feel your pain and we feel your potential. Thank you very much. It is an experience. It's, there is no easy answer. You can choose it or you can fail. Any way it is an experience, any way is good. Accept whatever outcome is, accept it. And then right. choose. First accept it and then choose. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start wrapping up. That was... That was a new experience for us as well. Anybody else do you want to speak before we start wrapping up? I I have a, um, a little request. Yes. Um, in my relationship uh, with my father, he um, has had yes. strokes and he does have dementia and there are times when I visit um, with him, um, it, it just can be like very negative because I'm not sure how he's going to react to certain things or the environment. And I really, I try to protect myself. I say prayers. I carry my crystals to try to block myself from some of those things. But I still... I don't know, I, I just pick up those energies so much, you know, and it just takes me a long time to kind of recover from when I go to see him. And Monica. Yes. It's yes. because you're expecting those kind of feelings, those emotions. Uh-huh. Huh. I mean, I, I do, I try to pray. I, tr I pray before I go in to see him. 
and you know I, I've tried different avenues and but it's just what I carry I guess there's something inside of you, you know, that you're it's almost like an I'm gonna say an expectation but you know it's like a it, it's kind of like a uh, it's almost like you're expecting something before you even get there yeah you're going to it, you're saying, ah, I'm going to expect this, like this is going to, it's almost like you're seeing the outcome before, like you're creating the outcome before you even go there. Before, yeah. Huh. I mean, so even with positive energies, though, you know, something still happened unexpectedly, of course. The negativeness, where does that come from, though? I mean, where do you feel that at? Oh, I, I feel it from him. I mean, it's been from other experiences. Is there, is there something him. bottled up within you that you haven't released yet, that you're holding, that you haven't forgiven him for? Well, I do try to forgive. And, you know, maybe there is some part of me carrying some of those. A little resentment. Past experience. Yeah, yes. maybe, yeah, resentment. Resentment. Yeah. That's understandable. And, but I do pray for these things. You know, I pray to overcome. But still, they just, I get back at home and I'm still like in this twilight zone of everything the whirlwind that just happened yeah you know and, and I've gone through it so many times because it's been three years since this has happened to him and are you more upset with yourself that you couldn't tell him what you wanted really wanted to say because now that you think he's too far gone with dementia that he wouldn't understand you now, but you really wanted to say to him, but you couldn't back then. Oh, you know what? That that's a good point. Because um, some things I I don't talk about with right. him because he does have dementia. Right. Or or maybe I'm afraid because he he'll react. The way he'll react. To him. Right. Yeah, negatively towards it, or or look at me like he doesn't understand. Right, and the pain that you so still feel. Yes, go ahead. So some things I just don't even say anymore. Right. And so, you know, I, I try to tell him if, if he gets quiet, like for a long period of time, I'm like, well, you know, I'm, I'm only here for a certain amount of time. You know, let's just share just about the little things or the weather. And, and that seems to help, you know. So at least you're starting slow. In some way, you want him to really feel what he's put you through when you were younger. Um, in a way, you can't part really, of it. Yeah, and it's hard to express because of where he's at now. Yeah. But it's it's really been intensive, you know, since all of his strokes and this dementia. It's really, you know, I've lived it 24/7, and it's uh, it's almost like I feel his pain. I, you know, he wants me to feel his pain, and it's like, I can't do that anymore. I can't carry his pain. Then don't. It's a choice. It, it is, and, and I have, you know, I do block myself, and I've gotten much better since I've prayed and been blocking that. Have you ever, a request, um, have you ever looked in the mirror and pretend that you are looking at your father? Tell him everything that you feel inside. Just get it all out. Even knowing that he's not there, but yet you're practicing. Because the more you get it out and you yeah. can say it out to someone, or at least to yourself in the mirror, you're getting it out of your system. You're getting yeah. getting out of the things that you've held so long. That's a really good idea. I, just, I will just play around with do it. That. Yeah, I will. And you can say and you can curse and you can cuss and in the privacy of your own place. At least there's a release in doing that. 
Right. Oh, I will try that, definitely. Yes, thank you for just yeah. talking about it. Much love. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, much love to you. Thank uh, you. Yes, it, take our advice only as a suggestion because there are many ways to look at their situation, many ways to evolve. It's your lesson which in part you brought on yourself. It's the lesson which you could use for your own betterment, uplifting growth. And your father consider that yes. that he helps you to take this lesson. He from other side is yourself. He is from other side your twin soul helping you to learn the lesson. Whatever the lesson is, it's your choice what lesson to learn here. Yes. Protection. Mm, protection. Safety. Protection. By itself, the idea of protection, of blocking, of protection, of safety uh, carries in itself much of fight and much of idea of negativity that you have to protect yourself from negativity which is okay it is a stage it is a great stage in development until you shine so perfectly that you don't have to protect your light oh, might reverse their play and then you don't protect yourself anymore because you're in different plane of reality where the protection is not even a word which you use often, right? Mm. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, some the initial stage there is a lot of fears and you are being attacked from everyone, from every side, and you have to block and protect. Mm -hmm. But also, mm -hmm. same thing is can be looked like the glass is half full or half empty. Protection is the idea of half empty, but when you build the sacred space, when you build your life, when you have your yourself, your vibration, your idea, your highest excitement, your path, when you have your path and you build your path, protection is just a decoration on your path because you're building the path. It's not something which you have protect yourself. It is your path and you bring the border as decoration on your path. It is also a protection, but it's completely different. It's reversed. You you shine so brightly you don't have to protect yourself. But still all these tools are useful, yes. Yes. Then yes. Yeah. Thank it helps so to much. forgive and actually let go. You might yeah. be afraid of him dying. You I, are, yes. in a way, mm -hmm. feeling pain because you say, oh, it might be even worse later. So one of the tools, just mm -hmm. analytical, mental, could be just to accept that too. He will go and you will be left with all this pain and all unfinished conversations. You have to accept that time is an illusion and 20 years from now, 10 years from now, a year after whatever, mm -hmm. it will look different. It is just accept the whole path as it is. It is everyone dies, right? So, yes. And many people die carrying the pain with them. They die unresolved. So you can pray for him to resolve his pains, but okay. it doesn't have to happen. And it's not your responsibility to keep him happy. It's not the responsibility of children. The happiness of their parents is not the responsibility of the children. It's your, mm, it is, ah, how to say, it is a norm of the, in the society to help the parents, yes, to help physically, to help emotionally, but they are still free to choose their state of mind and they're free to choose to be in pain, free to choose to uh, retain all their um, negativity with them. It's not your choice, it's not your responsibility to, to make their choices in that regard. 
it's their choice. Yes. So when you respect their choice to be a negativity, it's much easier on you. But you can choose to practice your healing arts. So come there as a healer and let the healing energies flow through you. You don't have to move your hands, you don't have to ask for permission because you just let the healing energies flow through you and if it takes listening to him, his negative things, and if it takes a small talk, it still can be a healing process. Yes. Right? Almost definitely, right. yes. Right. Thank you. And when so you leave, now. yes, you can carry all the pain and it's an art to convert this pain into the joy. It's art. And sometimes it takes very long time, weeks to get rid of that. But you might get better and it might take much shorter time, whatever you define, much shorter time. And especially it helps if you have your other highest excitement take yes. precedence and you wrap up your pains and go your own way, which could be completely independent and you follow your highest excitement, whatever it is. Your other light might overshine this darkness. These are just the suggestions yes. of general nature. Forgiving, accepting, letting go. Yes, forgiving, accepting, letting go. And following your highest excitement as as always, as now, and is the next moment, next moment, next moment. Because Thank your you excitement <laughs> defines what will happen next. Yes. Yes, I understand. And we more. are Thank with you. you, and we are to your service. Call for our help. When you are there, yeah. you might call for our help. Yeah. We will be there. Ah. Being ready to step in, massaging the energies, feeling the energies, bringing in help, calling for your help from spirit guides, healing entities, angels, and such. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I will I give will. you an image, I a healing image, that. just a second. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Imagine a tulip in the dark, shining mm -hmm. from inside. You don't know what's shining. It's closed in the night, but the light is coming from inside. The tulip which is shining from within, in the dark. The tulip, mm, the color, pinkish yellowish. Pinkish yellowish tulip, pinkish whitish yellowish tulip shining in the dark from within. That's the image. Thank you. I need yes, to let you. Max continue with this, with his daily things. Thank you for the opportunity to serve and for the co-creation and yes, uh, feel the healing energies which are there, they are inside. You have the healing power. Your intention and even your body has the healing power the energy of your body, the energy coming through your body. You are a vortex which has the healing power. So self-heal and heal others. Yes. Yes, with that we will finish. You are the vortex. Thank you so Structure much. Structure it, create a sacred healing space. Yes, thank you. Let the energies flow. You are not a static vortex. You are not a static healing space. You are moving forward. It's healing in motion. Your healing space, your sacred space moves with you and only in that movement a vortex which moves forward it is more stable, most healthy. Mm -hmm. Purify yourself. Purity is protection. Understanding and knowledge is protection. So grow the purity, grow the knowledge, purify your vibe, make it stronger in a smart way and that will naturally give you protection. So the goal is okay. to grow your fire 
in a way which serves you to grow and others to grow. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've, you've helped greatly. Yes, you've helped greatly. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I got to go. I will um, start closing. Does anyone has any? Does anyone have any announcements before we close? Yes, I am having a uh, quantum galactic healing hangout uh, in the next. Uh, I'd say about 30 minutes, just about at wow. two o'clock, and uh, everyone is welcome. And the intention of the hangout is to state what you would like to heal about yourself. We will discuss it, and at the end of the hangout, I will be doing a half or toning to align the frequencies of what you wish to heal for yourself. Thank you. Wonderful. You know, the whole day of, how do you say it, marathon or uh, a series of um, healing hangouts, a tandem. Yes. So That's after awesome. I close, I invite everyone to stay in that window if you want to chat. I will leave, but if you want to chat, I think the window will be still open for discussions. Yes. And you can find us at humancolony.org. You can email me at max at humancolony.org. Uh, I invite donations for myself uh, to continue these webinars. You can PayPal to max at humancolony.org, and you can support also Jim. Uh, you go to humancolony.org at uh, donate button, and you can donate to Jim as well. And there are other activities where you can donate to specific activities. And again, I invite everyone to keep an eye who was present here and connect directly one-to-one -one and say hi. Network one-on-one, -on -one, like one-to-one -one, uh, in the network. Brian, Dimitri, Gurudan, Mark, Monica, Sarah, and Matt. Everybody, just say hi to each other. Directly establish local pairwise connections, not local, network pairwise connections. So, yes, so we the are network all connected. Is longer. <laughs> That sounds good. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Much goodbye, love everyone. Stay Much in love. the Thank flow you. of healing energies. Yes. Yes, most definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Much love.